Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today I'm talking about... Hello friend, we are F-Society, and we hijacked today's WatchGuard Daily Security Byte to bring you a message about corporate corruption. And also just to wish you a happy Halloween. Anyways, in all seriousness, welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about how the FBI is recommending folks pay CryptoLocker and other ransomware ransom. This story starts from a security conference, kind of a, a small security conference in Boston, where an FBI agent gave a talk on cybersecurity. And I paraphrase here, but he essentially said, ransomware is really good at what it does, and often they actually recommend clients pay the ransom. There are a number of reasons why I believe you should never pay a ransom for cyber crime. Now, first of all, one thing you need to realize is not all ransomware is very effective. For instance, there's lock screen ransomware and older crypto ransomware, which you can actually overcome. So paying it is kind of a waste of money. That said, modern crypto ransomware is pretty good at doing things like encrypting your files. So if your files do get encrypted, they could be lost forever if you don't back up. Now, the other reason experts talk about not paying ransomware is the fact that you're paying a criminal. How can you really trust them? Can you trust that you will really get your files back? Now the argument with things like CryptoWall and CryptoLocker is these particular malware variants did actually get files back to users. So if you did pay, you would get your files back, which is actually leading more and more victims to actually trust the criminals that they will actually get your files back. I think this is kind of bad, even though some of the malware out there there is actually decrypting files properly, you can't always trust that these criminals will, will give you your files back. But really, the most important reason I don't think anyone should pay ransomware is you're actually incentivizing the criminal to continue these attacks. Even if you do get your files back in this one case, you're proving to these criminals that doing this cybercrime is lucrative. That means they're going to continue to focus on ransomware and they're going to continue to use this tactic to steal our money. And just because you've paid them and got your files back once doesn't mean you're not going to get reinfected and it won't happen to you again. Now, though I really personally strongly believe against paying for ransomware, I do realize that it's very easy for me to give this advice when it's not actually my information that's stolen. So ultimately, this will be up to the victims. You know, if somebody has multi-million dollars worth of intellectual property in files that they can never get back otherwise, it's really hard for me to say that they should never pay that ransom. But my prediction is if they do pay the ransom, they're probably going to get hit again one day just because they've proven that they're vulnerable to this sort of extortion. In any case, what I think is most important is how you can protect yourself today. And I'll restrict myself to two tips. Tip number one is use advanced threat protection. Signature-based antivirus is no longer good enough. A lot of this ransomware is great at evading signature-based detection, so you need more advanced threat protection to catch some of this zero-day ransomware out there. But most importantly, back up. Have you not backed up for one year? Well, go do it now. If you back up your files and you do it regularly, you don't have to worry about ransomware. Even if your files get encrypted, you can at least save most of them. Anyways, that's it for today's news. If you're in the US, have a happy Halloween, and thank you for watching.